Hey folks, AJ here. Today we're going to highlight this discontinued American Standard Suction Assembly. If you have this suction assembly in your American Standard bathtub and it is leaking or you want to change the cover for aesthetic purposes, you're going to need to change the whole entire suction assembly to something else. Okay, so this picture that you see on the screen, if it is, if it is in your bathtub, this is what you're going to need to replace it with. Okay, so this is the suction assembly body that you're going to need to install in your American Standard bathtub to replace that discontinued one I just mentioned. Okay, let's rip this guy apart. It's very, very to install. So the wall flange will fit basically right into the old one. Okay, then when you're putting this guy together, you're going to want to put a heavy bead of 100% clear GE silicone right around the shoulder of that wall flange, okay? Of course, make sure you clean off all the old silicone and any debris and biofilm that might be stuck to the wall of the tub before you install the new one. So when that's all nice and clean, put the wall flange through and then another heavy bead of silicone on the back side of the tub, okay, right where the, the shoulder of the body is gonna meet up, okay? And then screw those two guys together, okay? Piping is gonna be the same. You're gonna have an inch and a half pipe all right, coming out of it, make sure when you tighten this up, you have a little bit of pitch, okay, coming down towards the suction assembly, okay, not towards the pump, but towards the suction assembly, so all the water in the pump drains out back into the bathtub. That's very, very important to maintain that pitch. The new assembly is just like the old assembly. It has a vacuum brake fitting built into the side of it. Just hook up your hose tubing just right up to that vacuum brake assembly. Once you get everything all tight back together, all right, there's going to be some silicone that comes out of the front side. Just wipe that off with your finger and then get yourself a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol to clean off any smudged silicone that's going to be on the face of the tub. Okay, now you're going to notice it has six studs here for the suction cover to go on to. Um, now you're going to pick any two of those. Uh, you can line it up however you want to for aesthetic purposes. Uh, I lined this up perfectly straight across just to show you guys in the video. But pick any two of these holes, okay, to line up your holes for the suction cover and then screw in the two screws. All right, that come with it. You're gonna use a small, small Phillips head screwdriver to screw the two screws in. All right, trick of the trade, make sure you have your drain closed in your bathtub so these screws don't inadvertently go sliding down your drain. Okay, the colors that are available for this suction assembly come in white, biscuit, bone or almond, oil rub bronze, chrome, and we also have a satin nickel that is also available. And that's everything you need to know about this retrofit kit we've come up with for the old discontinued American Standard Suction Assembly. Any questions beyond this video, feel free to give us a call. Make sure you share and like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are your Whirlpool Tub Parts Authority.